Okay, RV Max presents you another one owner, man. It just, it gets boring, but we like one owner, garage cap, nice coaches, not repos, okay? We're not putting any other dealers down, but we like to find one owner, garage cap, low miles, nice coat. They were taking care of it. So this coach is 2013 Itasca Meridian Model 36M. 36 foot shorty, got a full wall slide on a passenger side, two slides on a driver's side, slide out generator, 8,000 pounds. Talking about little flaws, got little paint right here chipping off. A little here somewhere, that's 3M film here, I think. Uh, 8,000 watts generator right here with only 422 hours. Uh, let's shut this little uh, generator up. but. You know, headlight, right around headlight, this silver part is kind of faded out, you know, but, you know, it's 2013, what was it, 11 years old? So we're going to push this back in. It's a manual slide, and then you kind of lift this. There's a little, there we go. Let's see. All right, it's locked in place. So panoramic windshield. There's a slight little star crack, okay, right here in the center. I had a guy that Fix it with the raisin, came and looked at it, said it will not develop anymore. That's what he said, but he's right here. You don't like it, you got to change the whole windshield. That's right dead center, okay? Rest of them is good, not in the vision area. So one-piece windshield, crown looks good. I nitpicked a little bit in the front. Uh, it's kind of sitting next to American Eagle. Can we pull this thing out real quick? Let me... All right, look at this coach. We just got it in from Florida. What we're gonna do next week, we just had a detailed wash actually, but we're gonna buff it next week. So when you come pick it up, it's gonna even look better than it is right now. It's gonna pop. Uh, rear view mirror looks good. Alcohol aluminum wheels. We got a Michelin tires. They're like a mid 19 or something. The tires are good. They were installed in 20 or something. They, they're probably four years old, but it was a garage cap. So let me let me discuss a little bit about the uh, uh, date codes. Some people say, oh, five years, I got to change it. Yes, if they were sun exposed and got a dry checking, yes, you got to change them. Michelin will tell you, change them at 10-year anniversary, no matter what, if it was garage kept or not. These are healthy, good, deep tires. They're only like 28,000 miles. Well, I'll take it back. It just turned 29,000 miles when I drove it from Florida to here. Knee-deep trade, brand-new looking tires, man. Okay. All right, so um, that's all your resettable fuse. Winnebago does a really awesome job on it. I think we've got a fuel. It's got a dual fill, so you've got to fill here and fill on the other side, too. That's kind of really nice. you got a dual fill. What color would you call this, Nicole? What is it? Kind of like a burgundy? Brown. Burgundy, silver, grayish, black, white. I mean, it's got a lot of colors. Beautiful. Look at this. So that slide is the closet and the bedroom. You'll see it once you go inside. Look at this, that's your LP tank. Water pump is very easy to replace if you ever have trouble. And you would love this storage. Look at this storage. So you got little two release buttons here and it opens up and look at this. You got huge underbelly storage, including right under it too. And look at this slide out tray that opens up on the boat side. And that's your extension ladder for the back to get up on top. This is a lot of storage, man. For 36 foot, yes, it is. And it opens up on the boat side. And it slide on the boat side. Shut that first. And then shut this second. That is your typical water wet bay. Look at it. You can almost eat off of it. It's that clean. Water filter, outside shower, water pump, outside light. All that stuff. Sewer hoses hooked. Put here that's another part of the storage and that's another storage kind of goes deep in there uh come on back look at it again let's get close look at this tire still got the little side hair if you call that little uh it's in excellent shape tires are knee deep trade i wouldn't change them tires for probably another four five years maybe 2028 20, at least uh or something like that um or that outside light it's that look i'll turn it off Boom, off. And then you got a light here too. That's your power cord. Yep, right there. And it's got a light here. Well, you got to turn a compartment lights on the master lights from underneath or from inside. Should be uh, some of the, uh, you got chassis batteries right here. Two new chassis batteries, more resettable fuse for chassis side. Some of the engine components. 
that's your furnace uh, exhaust i mean look at this thing this i tell you, look at under the slide it's in excellent shape roof is one piece fiberglass roof that you would expect from uh, winnebago look at the back cap now I, I i can't wait to see it next week when it's buffed out it's going to look better the video won't judge it when you come here to pick it up you'll see it if it's buffed wax it also uh, retain its shine for a longer period of time. It's got 10,000 pound towing capacity. We pulled the Escalade behind it, no big deal. Uh, this part's open up to have a more access to the engine. I love the body styling on this coach. Wow, it's pretty. Um, it looks really tall from back here. Big tail lights. It's on Freightliner custom chassis. Nice stainless steel accent on the exhaust. So we got big full wall slide on this side, and you saw two on the other side. So that's a little storage right here. Got a few little, no, that's not a road rack chip. Well, it, it'll come out on a buff. It's a little black, like a road tar stuff. It'll come out on a buff. Uh, maybe this is one little, no, not no scratch. Man, this thing is in really good shape. All right, that's your DEF, DEF. Uh, it's about a quarter. We'll fill you up a little bit, or you can go and fill it up when you're filling your diesel up. 10-gallon water heater works fabulously. Okay. Again, tires on a great shape. Got a little, little scratch right here. You see that? And, you know, if you're really nitpicking, I got a body shop guy can probably fix it for a couple hundred bucks. Hard to see. Storage here. I don't think we have it vacuumed in here, but we'll get it vacuumed. I'm a nitpicker sometimes. Okay, I'm competing with a, this lady's uh, sound. Let's see. Let me get the key real quick. Real quick. All right, lady. Channel. Another channel. WYFF. So nice outside TV, as you can see right here. Turn the volume down. Some Western movie going. Uh, we could probably leave a remote in here. All right. Let's see. I wanted to know what that is right here. That's why I went and got the key. Could be LP hookup. Yes, it is. For outside griller. Those guys are the dad or even woman. They want to cook outside. That is your LP hookup. So you can have a grill right here. Shout out to Tom. He likes to cook out, right? That would be cook out. I kind of thought so. It would be an LP extension there so you can plug it in and have your drill i mean grill not drill your drill of a grill so it's got the two knobs that i've got a same thing we showed you on the other side so what we have here is a triangle little emergency um triangles a little slinky right there all right two zone furnace i showed you back on a driver's side this is on a passenger side so you got two zone lp heat look at this storage i mean it's massive storage isn't it for 36 footer indeed it is and the slide out tray i call it a back saver and then you got some more storage under there too i think it's a 110 gallon tank might have to look at my uh minimum 100 gallon fresh water tank it's about a quarter full all right, so uh, electric awning with a wind sensor, and you got electric uh, entrance awning. So it is on a Maxim chassis, what they call. It is on a Maxim chassis. It came from Florida. All right, so this completes uh, completes our out, outside video tour. Let's go ahead and go you, show you inside, and then we'll test drive it. All right, this is a solid fiberglass roof. Really good condition. Shrouds look good. They got heat pumps in them. You got a satellite dish. Look up in front. The front cap looks good. It's a, you know what I like about it? The front seal is in excellent shape. I don't see this fiberglass cap covers the fiberglass roof. And uh, it's just in excellent shape. All the caulking around the uh, opening vents are in great shape. No dry, no dry checked. They're just a little dirty. They're brown, but they're not. There's no cracking in the caulking. So good, good shape here. Come on in this beautiful, beautiful coach. Look at this. The tile, the shiny tile starts at the front, 
comes all the way back here. We just got it back from Florida, so we haven't even had it fully detailed. Let me go ahead and open that and show you. That tile comes all the way back here to the bedroom, and then you got a carpet. I love this sharp tile. Only crack I found is right here. Very small. I mean, well, it's a tile across. But look at this beautiful interior. Full wall slide on this side, and you got two slides on a driver's side. And kitchen consists of a nice Corian countertop, matching backsplash with a nice little metal insert in the middle. And uh, guess what? Let me show you this. You got a nice little island that comes out, and you still got these long drawers for storage. All right, Camping World. Boy, this coach was sold for two hundred and seventeen thousand plus. Oh, that was after trade-in. Anyways, original receipt. It is a one-owner, as we I said it a few times outside. So over here to your this side, look at the leather, non-pilling and furniture. Those people are looking at a motorhomes during this year era. They just wore out the uh, what do you call the leather or pleather or ultra leather peels none of that stuff going on we'll go over the cockpit area i'll show you it's in excellent shape no tears no rips no peelings and that is that is a big big plus so over here how does that work comes out and you open up like that right that's for a little ipad for a person riding with you or if your wife is driving, you sit here and work. That's pretty neat. Um, again, we will go over a cockpit area later. Both of these seats will swivel to give more room for more people entertaining here. So this one has a, oh, it's a typical nice electric recliner. And I'm going to show you something else, what Winnebago does. Let's see, as this thing comes out. Yes, it does. It comes out. Oh, we got to get it cleaned up a little bit. That's a little dirty. So it comes out. So it's a recliner. And then you can also relax in here. Also at night, you can turn this full into the bed. So let me go ahead and just show you the bed. So same way here. Uh, like I said, it's not been detailed. We just got it. This thing opens up in the same way. This is a recliner to watch that TV. I didn't turn that Samsung TV on. So you got three TVs, midship TV, midship TV, TV in the front, and uh, TV in the back. So let's see. This thing also ex expands and go back in. It can come out a little more. And then you got two extra chairs, nice little ledge here. Lots of storage up on top. I love the wood. It's kind of like a, I don't know, walnut? What do you call that? Honey? Honey walnut or something? Beautiful colorings. Um, you got easy shades that just comes down with a touch of a, just your finger. It's got a, this is a night shade and you got a black shade behind it. Like I'll show you on this one. So you got a day shade and a night shade. They're MCD. A good brand great shape uh, let's see all the books and records are here somewhere this couch I don't think it opens up it's just a nice couch again once again no tears or rips it's in excellent shape almost like new 28,000 miles it just turned 29 on the way here away home to South Carolina my wife and I spend a couple of nights in here this is a nice coach all right let's see uh, three burner gas stove And we got a dual stainless steel sinks or sink with a double. Once again, we, we haven't got it detailed. We just got the coach in. You got a little soap dispenser, more storage. You got a convection oven here. Yep, I used it for my pizza. And you got a nice household refrigerator, KitchenAid. And this is a little lock mechanism. So if you have lots of uh, loaded up um, 
a loaded up, what do you call, freeze, freezing aisle, fr frozen food item. You could just lock it here so it won't come open. Next to the washer, I mean, no, refrigerator, we got another Ariston washer and dryer combo. Those folks want to spend winter or whatever, long, full timing. This is a really good appliance package here. So you got a household refrigerator, washer and dryer. And uh, we'll go to the bathroom in a little bit. Oh, let's just go now. Before we go in there, we got a little central command. Uh, it shows you what kind of power you got in here. And uh, um, over here, you got a battery status, 13.6, tank level, uh, all that stuff. LP heater you can turn off and on. Uh, electric heater off and on, pump water pump off and on, all that stuff. This is your, it's got electric heat, electric heat pump with air conditioning, and you got your LP heat too, okay? Uh, that's your slide out buttons here. That's the engine heater. If you're in Alaska or something, you wanna turn it on. So these are all your slide out control. Auto Gen Start, I love that Auto Gen Start. Let me tell you, you hit Auto Gen Start here, if you could see that, and it says enter for auto, and it's on. I use that while we're on the road here because you got, uh, inverter is on so this is your inverter off and on because this is a electric coach uh, and uh, so if your refrigerator is you got food in there you got to run inverter but what happens you sleeping at night a couple of places we ran the LP heat because I was not running generator and about seven o'clock in the morning 6 30 I heard generator came on because a battery must have dropped under 12 volt so that's a really nice thing on auto auto jan start man look at this it's Itasca, it, it, they've done a great job. It's a little higher end of a Winnebago. They don't make them anymore after, I think 16 was the last year. All right, let's check this out in a nice, cozy bathroom here. Got medicine cabinet. Very tall, you got a fantastic auto fan, and you got a nice stand-up shower. Let me go ahead and show it to you in here, get in here very clean. Yep, it's, it's really nice change the light bulb here we'll do that because <laughs> I, I took a shower in here and then when you close it it's got a it's got a nice enclosed glass it's a enclosed shower and you just snap this to lock it when you're traveling a little towel rack and uh, you know another thing I want to tell you when the slides are closed a couple of nights we spent in a one night we spent in a love truck stop I didn't open that slide and this door still opens up. Just want to tell you, when the slide is in, you can still open the door. Well, obviously, when you're traveling, you can use a bathroom when you're traveling. And this is the door for privacy door that opens up and opens the door up. I guess you just pull it on the other side. So you get the picture, that's your privacy door. And there's two knobs are here to just pull it. And when you're traveling, you just lock in places. Got four little latches here, and it'll lock in the place. Sorry about that. Uh, another thing I like, I think it's 2004 or five and up. Everything has a two sinks. Very important. So my wife brushing her teeth or your wife, and you got another sink out here. So two sinks is very important. So you got his and her, you know, toilet where you put in here and shaving, whatever. Makeup light here. Another Samsung, a smart TV upgrades. Um, we got those night in a day and night shade. You got emergency exit door. You open up and it opens up. Hopefully you never need to use it, but that's what that is for. You got one, two, three, four, five, six vanity drawers. Here's some more drawers up on top. Hey, what do you know? We got some extra water filter stuff that goes with it. And I got extra Samsung remote control. Perfect. Oh, this is an important one. You got to ask Liz, my dog, my wife would tell you. She just in, she has just published the video of a Freightliner. This is to remove your uh, center cap on a uh, wheels. So if you ever have a tire go bad or something, or, so that's what that tool is for, the wheel lug nut. All right. Some storage. No, that's not a storage. That's a water heater there. Got a little storage here. And you see queen size bed, it's a his and her sleep number bed. Um, it worked fine. That side was soft. I couldn't get it work right. I slept here. I like it harder. Uh, my wife was sleeping on that side. It, it works good. I uh, got some nightstand with some storage in here. 
Okie doke. Stuff left from previous owners. And you got another nightstand there. Some storage. Oh, wait a minute. There's a light and another light. Oh, the pillows is popping off from original uh, coach that matches all that. We have that. If you want it, you can have it. It'll go with the coach. And that is behind where Nicole is. So let's show that. That's a big closet here. And we kind of like north to south bed. It was just so simple to roll out on each side. What my wife thought, some of those other coaches, when you get off, you had that engine hump. This is a 36 feet coach and it's very, very well, uh, what do you call it, design floor plan. You got the ceiling fan up on top for those summer nights. And so, Right here is your original stuff that came in. So that goes with the coach. It's a nice little coat closet here. And what I like about it, just the closet goes out. Winnebago's, Winnebago always have done that. So you still got plenty of room to walk around. I love the, the coloring of the wallpaper and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Uh, that's about it here. We're going to get our slides in and driver's seat and uh, all this uh, command center. And uh, we hit the road and go test drive and tell you how it drives. All right, let's start with the steering wheel. And guess what? We got the air horn. It's got a little butt, uh, push lever here. You can do telescopic. I'm sorry, I bumped your phone. So it does tilt and telescopic by pushing that thing so you adjust it where you want okay 25 29,507 uh oh sorry uh -huh. that's your uh the green light is the last dot left that's telling you you are running really low in def diesel exhaust fluid fuel tank rpm meter that's the speed we're standing still we got about 110 uh, 120 air pressure in front and back oil pressure is good when i rave it up it should go up right there just spikes up temperature simple over here this thing i have not figured out works but this one look at here i put in reverse and your backup monitor would come on there you go we see in the trailer and another motorhome all right now i'll put in drive and left signal look that's my left signal and that's my right signal i think they're backward <laughs> i think i just noticed that my left is showing right so there's got to be a somewhere we can fix it up that's kind of scary. Okay, but we'll, we'll try to see what we can do uh, there. Put a neutral, the, the beep you hear because I have not released the brakes. That's why it's beeping and I'm in a gear. So I got to put a neutral. It's got a 360 Cummins in the back. Uh, good engine, only 29,000 miles. That's your uh, incomplete vehicle identification data. Uh, 36M is Winnebago. These are your electronic uh, power leveling. It's got auto level here. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Air heat, uh, air horn, or you could turn it off and listen to this. It's going to be, well, oh, uh, that's a mirror heat. I'm sorry. Let's see. Where is the air horn off? There is a button somewhere for air horn right here. Yep. All right. You got, you got uh, power mirrors, exhaust brakes off and on, a mirror heat on and off, night shades. There are front solar and a night shade, night and a day shades. Uh, this thing right here, this thing is joystick. Let me show you what the joystick does. You see right there, generator hours is not showing, but right here it tells you all kinds of stuff. You can go back and forth, return. I can go leg idle. Uh, let's see, road speed is zero miles an hour. Transmission temperature 127 Fahrenheit. It'll do odometer 29507. Engine temperature 181. Transmission, it, it shows you all that. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, and horn button here, battery boost button here, your... Uh, Battery boost when you're one of the, you got a coach batteries and uh, chassis batteries. If one of the set is dead, then you hit this and merge it. That's auxiliary light on. These are your wiper blades here. Uh, front auxiliary lights on and your headlight switch here. And then I think that's about it. In the center, you have a, a fan for defrost, defrost fan. Generator start button is right here, so I'm going to hold it, and it's going to come right on. Let's see, I'm going to just hold it, hold it, hold it. That's your lock, entry lock. 
locks, unlocks, engine, radio, house. That's that. Generator is running. Got a USB plug in here, regular plug in here. And I think this has an old, I saw it on the back. It's got an old iPhone, iPod hookup. But, you know, you can convert that into a regular iPhone. All right. Let's hit the road. All right. Here we're going to do test drive. I test drove it all the way from, uh, where did it pick it up? Ruskin, Florida. It came from Tallahassee to Tampa and Tampa to Greenville, South Carolina, just last last week. So, yep, it was when I picked it up, had a 28,700 miles. Now we got, uh, as you just saw, I think the miles are 29,508. And uh, look at this thing, right? So beautiful. Just steering super, super nice. I and mean, I drove it pulling an Escalade behind it. And... Uh, there is a way you can constantly see. By the way, it's got a nice Bluetooth. Uh, I don't know what the remote is. That's the remote over there. But it's got a, const, uh, a Bluetooth radio or Bluetooth connection. So I listen to my music. Oh, it's a plane. <laughs> We've got an F-16 flying over because they manufacture them. Right here in Greenville, South Carolina. Hey, you got to come here. If you come pick up a motorhome, you'll see F-16 doing all kinds of uh, maneuvers on top. Going sideways and all that. They manufacture them here. All right, so one's really good. I don't think I'm going to do that long of a test drive. Look at that. Wiper blades, they work. And once again, I did mention that little star crack right in the middle. You know, we take pride in showing you stuff wrong with it. Does that mean we're perfect and know everything what's wrong with it? No, we don't. But uh, when you come to pick up the coach, HVAC, the water would be holding, everything work. It'll be right out the door, camp ready, okay? Uh, you could buy it. Extend a warranty from us. We help you get financing. But what I'm trying to tell you about the condition, we're trying to show imperfections or flaws. But you know what? If you have one of the drawers that don't latch and plastics broke, we might have overlooked that. That's just a natural. It comes with a, a 11 years old motorhome. As a matter of fact, when you buy brand new motorhomes, they have so many kinks. When you buy a brand new motorhome, you take them to dealership for fix this, fix that, fix that. In that retrospect, Older motorhomes in a better shape because a lot of the kinks have been taken out. So, but just want to tell you uh, whether you're not paying two hundred ninety thousand dollars for it, what they cost new, you gotta buy half the price or something. All right, so uh, we'll do this little road test here, and it drives really good. Those folks have never had a diesel pusher, man. You're in for a treat. Or if you got a Class C gas or gas motorhome or trailer, and you're gonna move on up to diesel. Diesel is the way to go. Uh, now, when you get on the highway, you might hear some wind noise from the mirrors. You know, uh, all you got to do is turn radio on, and then you don't hear that wind noise, okay? Uh, and that wind noise can happen in a high-end travel buses, okay? So you can't stop wind. <laughs> all right, let's punch it here and get it up to speed a little bit here. 25, 35. Got a good acceleration, 45. And then my exhaust brake is on, about 50 miles an hour, I'm gonna stop. Now watch, it's engaging. My exhaust brake has came on right here. It says auxiliary brake. Oh yeah, it's stopping me. I'm not even touching the uh, brake pedal. I will now, coming up to a traffic light. Brakes work awesome. They're air brakes. So if you've never driven an air brake vehicle, you'll feel a little weird, but it's a really solid brakes. Okie doke, let's see. Uh, so you got right here, it's manual. So if you're driving down, going from north to south or south to north, depending on where your west is, and sun's coming in, you can just pull it down here. Uh, the front one, you can do it in front. You see that? But it'll come down to certain, and it won't come anymore. So that's really nice, and it completely covers the front windshield. Uh, let's see what else I have not covered. Okay, yeah, cruise works. Let me put a cruise on. Boom. I'm, a, I'm on cruise at 30 miles an hour. I mean, it, it, I think it has a certain minimum speed. It won't engage if it's under 30 miles an hour. Right now, I'm on a cruise at 30, 32 miles an hour on the back roads. Runs really, really well. There's Apache, too. <laughs> uh I don't know what else to add. It's a one owner, 29,000 miles, good tires, good batteries, a lot of good bones in this motorhome. 
and it'll serve you a good service. 36 feet, very short. Actually, my wife and I were traveling in uh, Florida last week when we parked at, one night we parked at Cracker Barrel. Shout out to them. They're really good folks, man. And then go eat there next morning. 36 foot was easy to park and out. It's just so easy, short motorhomes. They're more welcome at state and a, na na a lot of national park. So, but with a washer and dryer, uh, it's, it's loaded up so you could full time in this with the full wall slide on that side, two on this side, plenty of room. Upholstery is in great shape. There are lots of good stuff in this motorhome. So give me a call, 864-404-0054 or mine at 864-376-5600. Uh, give us a call. We prefer text communication because we could be doing a video or talking to a customer or we'll work by appointment. We're not a big dealership and we don't ever want to be. We sell five, six motorhomes a month and we take pride in selling what we sell. They're not brand new and they're not completely flawless, but we try to pick individually bought one owner when we can. And that means there are good motorhomes, a good used motorhome. Anything else I can add? We can help you get financing. We have a, a warranty. I think I mentioned that. I think that's about it. With that, I'm going off air, going to Raleigh, North Carolina to pick up another one owner, Camelot. Look out for that. It's coming up. 42 feet tag axle Camelot. But right now, 2013 Itasca Meridian, 36 feet. He's going back to the lot. And come get it.